People call it retro, but it's not accidental that we go retro. It's not a fad, it's actually a hearkening back to a tactile, more multi-sensory experience. Maybe an endangered experience. Endangered experience. So we are entering an era of an overwhelming amount of digital information that because it's overwhelming, we are becoming inured to it. You would think with this increase in efficiency, what we would be left with is times to have a dialogue with ourselves. I think maybe the issue is that we haven't created efficiency, we've created ubiquity. Ubiquity is actually the problem because it means that we're always consuming. The number of things that, that uh, visit your town, your mental town, in fact, your digital town, is infinite. And we've found no way to deal with that other than filtering. There are no forces that are restoring balance in that. I love your, your phrase, endangered experiences, human experiences, that we are losing because we're being overwhelmed by digital, digitally connected systems. I yearn for accountability in the filtering, and let's see if we can use our technology to give us more opportunities to pause. So you would think with this increase in efficiency, what we would be left with is times to have a dialogue with ourselves. We're losing uh, time with ourselves to contemplate the data that we are able to absorb. So you had this sense that uh, you need alone time restful time, peaceful time, not noise and big data time uh, to actually digest information and become mindful. The, the more we look at the unforeseen consequences of uh, the globalization of that digital data, the ability of uh, people to filter and things like that, the more we actually point those out, I do have faith that uh, scientists want to do good. I think we'll see scientists going, I've got to watch those endangered experiences, not just artists.